Hi friends, so this video shows how to list and remove PPA uh, repository in Ubuntu and uh, Debian system. So you can list all the PPA uh, using these commands sudo apt policy. So this command will list all the PPAs which you already added. <coughs> so if you are not seeing some particular PPA in list in this list, you need to run sudo apt update. Then only it will come in the output of uh, apt cache policy. So you can also run this command sudo ls slash etc apt slash sources dot list dot in. So there you can see all the uh, PPS which you added. So if you want to remove one of the PPS, you can just remove that particular file from this path. For example, uh, if you want to uh, delete uh, this uh, OBS uh, studio uh, repo, you can just delete these two files, this file and uh, uh, list.save file. Just remove these two files and run uh, sudo apt update. So that is the one option. Uh, so if there is one command. So just uh, check the help of uh, a add apt repository. So you can see it has an option to remove the repos uh, repository. See hyphen R. So you can use that option. So first run this apt policy and just grab for a uh, PPA. And uh, for example, uh, I want to uh, remove um, which one? this one OBS studio so what we need to do is just search for OBS APT uh, policy grab OBS so you can see here So then just to run this command sudo apt sudo add apt repository hyphen hyphen uh, remove then ppa colon just copy after this uh, launchpad.net just copy this part. OBS project slash OBS studio. Just enter. I think it has removed. Now just run. Uh, see, it's not listing here. It's listing here. Yeah, I think. See if you do ls here. Just need run sudo apt update after that command. I think you need to run that. You can see still it's showing here. So I think the issue is this uh, capital PPA. Do you use small letter PPA? Yes. Type Y. Now it has removed. Uh, now let me uh, grab for APT policy OBS. See it is not there. Then if you do ls sudo ls uh, it is here it is source list dot in. But there you can still see that. Okay, so let me run apt update. Uh, so when you run apt update you can see will be 
OBS is not here. So this way uh, we can uh, remove a particular PPA using this uh, apt uh, add apt repository command. So that is a one option. So I will let me show one uh, option which we can use the GUI. For example, list cipher software. You can just open this uh, software and update. So if you go to software and update. Uh, then go to this other software so basically there you can see the uh, active uh, pps or source list so if you want to uh, disable one particular uh, ppa you can just and select it here then save it so that is one option so another option is uh, you can use this ppa hyphen purge application just install it so it will help you to uh, remove the ppa ppa purge hyphen hyphen help So you can just specify PPA purge then the uh, URL which you want to remove. PPA name you have to specify. Pseudo PPA purge then the PPA. So let me show one more thing. So when you uh, remove a PPA uh, using this uh, add uh, these commands uh, add apt repository you can see uh, this file is still exist in this path so what uh, if you uh, cat that file you can see that file will be empty you check it see that file is empty actually I think actually so when you run this uh, add apt repository if for remove ppa name actually it just remove the content from this file So let me confirm it. Uh, let me just add that PPA again. Just copy this one and uh, run it here. I'm going to add it, okay? So I'm going to add it. So it's added, then it's running APT update. now let me cat that files uh, list you can see the content here in this uh, file so basically it's there in the uh, dot list file not in dot list save it's in dot list file now i am going to remove it uh, using this uh, command apt add apt repository hyphen hyphen remove okay can see it's removing it uh, type y and press enter okay remove it now let me cat this file see it's empty so this is how it's working basically to remove this content from this file okay okay i hope you enjoy this video now you understand how we can list and remove the ppa so there is three options uh, you can use this uh, add apt repository command or ppm purge command or you can use the gui okay so 
तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो